today I'm gonna be showing you really fun DIY locker decorations and it has been so long since I've done a locker decor video if you want to check out the last one that I did which I worked really hard on that one I will link it below I'm gonna be showing you five different styles. I did wanna let you know that I realized that these lockers are super cluttered. I mostly just wanted to focus on the decoration aspect. This is only for the video, and I did include some school supplies in the locker, but it's mostly about the decor. I mean, that's why you're here, right? So make sure you follow me on Instagram at glitterforever17 and Twitter. I'll be sure to link those below. Please make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications. Let's go ahead and get into the video. younger I used to find back to school shopping so fun me and my mom would go to Walmart or Kmart at the time and unfortunately there was no Dollar Tree back then so that's why now I go to the Dollar Tree for all of the school supplies that I buy for my videos and for props things like that even giveaways and I promise this isn't sponsored by Dollar Tree I mean I wish it's like one of my favorite stores but this is the perfect place if you want to find the cutest bargain school supplies and I'm sure you may already know this if you live in America but if not this is where a lot of us shop when it comes to school I think I forgot to mention that every single thing in this store is a dollar. And that is what's so fascinating about it. So the reason I'm in the store today is to pick up some school supplies for my videos, for props, and I wanted to pick up some things that were super colorful, new, and fun. And I also needed some new crafting supplies as well. And the Dollar Tree has some really great crafting stuff. And I also wanted to find some things that would be great to decorate a locker that were really different. And I think I ended up spending like $100 for all this stuff. As you can see, my lockers have not been fooled with in a long time. And they're completely empty and sad, so let's make them happy. So this first style is called the Elegant Girly Style. This style is super fancy. It features pastels and muted colors, gold, and anything luxurious. So I used some of these file folders that I also got at the Dollar Tree and some magnets, cut them. They fit pretty much perfect in the back of my locker. And I never knew that file folders were like the same exact size as a locker. So this is kind of like a life hack slash tip. Make sure you find some really cute file folders and just use those as wallpaper. It's so simple and easy and it's kind of like they're already cut to fit. So I also found some of this really cute faux rhinestone ribbon and I thought it would look so good on the border of the shelf here so I just used some glue dots which are amazing. They're not permanent but they are strong like they can hold up some stuff. I put some glue dots on there and just pasted two little strips of this. So because I thought this pink pencil holder was a little plain, I love the color, but it was plain. So I wanted to also add some more of that gold ribbon to that too. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I began decorating the locker by magnetizing a little makeup bag. I put some pencils in it, and then I also wanted to give it a little edge. So I put some of this wrapping paper that I got at the dollar store, sort of like in a triangle shape. You know how those geometric shapes are really trendy right now? And I thought it looked really cute. So I found some of this cardstock in the back of like an eye mask box that I got at Target. And I was thinking, oh my gosh, like this is so cute. I think I mostly bought it for the box. And I decided to cut little triangles and glue them to this string to create a mini banner. And I think this turned out really well. It's so cute. It can really go for any style locker depending on what cardstock you choose. This next DIY is really simple. All I did was take some fake flowers, I cut them off, I cut the little rosebuds off, and I glued them to this mirror that I also got at the Dollar Tree. I glued the flowers on halfway. I was gonna go all the way around, but I thought the halfway thing looked really good. This DIY is pretty self-explanatory. All I did was glued a magnet to the back of the flower. I know, I probably shouldn't have even included this, but I figured, hey, why not? Because I really loved that cardstock that I found, I decided to create a pocket with that and some duct tape. I feel bad because my camera decided to not film the first portion of this DIY. I took one piece of duct tape, doubled it up, then I created sort of like a rainbow shape with it. I kept it in that shape and then I taped each side of the cardstock. So I taped the tape to each side as you can see. And then I put another piece of tape on the bottom and oh my gosh, this thing actually works. And I also added some more of that gold stuff. If you're a minimalist, this is definitely the locker style for you. It's really simple. I only wanted to keep it like black and white and just bare necessities when it came to the school supplies. I found this fake backsplash also at the Dollar Tree, which I was shocked that they had. And I used that as the interior of the locker. I thought it looked so cool. I didn't really decorate with this one. I mostly just added the school supplies, which was very plain and the backsplash was pretty much the only DIY with this locker style. It was mostly just an idea. If you love the boho chic style as much as me, you're definitely gonna love this locker style. That palm leaf thing in the bottom of the locker is a placemat I got at the Dollar Tree. I thought it would look so cute. And then I put like a boho looking calendar in the back of it along with a pom pom. I even had like a mouse pad that looked like a rug that I put in the bottom with a wooden container to put the books in. And this here is just a really simple DIY. It's not really a DIY. I just put a sticker on a container just to dress it up a little bit. And this one I did off camera which is a cute little ball banner. All you do is just string the string through the balls and that's it. I got all of that at the Dollar Tree. And then I also magnetized some more things to the door that was next to the boho style. And this DIY is one of my favorites and it's the palm leaf banner. And I printed out with my photo printer a picture of like the really trendy palm leaves and then I cut them out and used these clothes pins these little mini clothespins on the same twine to make this banner. I think this is such a cute locker. It came out amazing. And if you want to try it out, you really need to send me some pictures because I would love to see what your locker looks like. Maybe give me some inspo for next year. Who knows? But yeah, that is the completed boho locker. So if you're more of like the cheerleader, go team, sporty spirited person, 
You will definitely love this locker style. It's really simple. Yet another placemat is what I put in the back of this locker. And I also went ahead and just used some of my locker wallpaper that I bought. Put that on the door. I put a banner up, some pom-poms to show my team spirit that I don't have. I don't have a team. But yeah, put my Nike shoes in there and it looks really sporty and cute. This last and final locker style is my favorite, and it's the glitter glam style. So the way I made this one, oh, it took a while, and I did a lot of it off camera. So Slava actually made that origami unicorn thing. He bought the origami kit from the Dollar Tree, and I asked him to make it. I'm sure you're wondering how to make this adorable glitterful beaded curtain for your locker, and it's simple. Get you some beads like the ones that I found at the Dollar Tree, they come in threes. Take a strand and then just start popping the beads together. You know how you can actually just curl them together like this? That's all you do. Just take some strands that are all the same length and put them on one long strand. And oh my gosh, you have a beaded locker curtain. How cool is that? So because I wanted to show other options for locker wallpaper, I used some of this gift wrap in the back of the locker, as well as a gift bag. I cut it to fit, and I also just took some extra pieces on the side and sort of made it really artsy looking. I just went all out. I didn't even care about matching. I just wanted like tons of color. So that's not only all for this locker, but all for this entire video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome school year and it's all that you want it to be. I love you so much. I thank you for watching and have a glitterful day. I love you. Bye.